Previously on The Joe Schmo Show, Earl's eviction hit Matt hard. Earl, you're dead to us. It's just not fucking worth it. It's not. Matt rebounded and leveled Dr. Pat. Oh, Help! Hey, y'all, she's crying, she's hurt. The immunity robe went Matt's way for the first time. Thank you very much. You cannot be evicted in tonight's ceremony. And Dr. Pat got an offer she couldn't refuse. Dr. Pat, you can choose to accept this one-time offer of $25,000 if you will leave the mansion tonight. I mean, let's take the night. What would you do if your entire world turned out to be fake? If an army of writers, producers, and actors spent over a year creating TV's most elaborate experiment around you. If they plotted your every move, recorded it 24 hours a day, and put it on national television. Well, that's exactly what happened to this guy. Meet Matt Kennedy Gould, one real guy competing for $100,000 on a reality show that he doesn't know is fake. Starring nine actors. Melissa Yvonne Lewis as Ashley, the rich bitch. David Hornsby as Hutch, the asshole. Angela Dodson as Molly, the virgin. Franklin Jones as Earl, the veteran. Nikki Davis as Gina, the schemer. Lance Crawl as Kip, the gay guy. Brian Keith Etheridge as Brian, the buddy. Kristen Wiig as Dr. Pat, the quack. And me, Ralph Garman, as the smarmy host. All performing for the one guy who thinks it's real. This place is fucking starting to drive me crazy. This is The Joe Schmo Show. As Matt is locked in his bedroom, sharing his thoughts in his daily interview, the cast secretly sneaks away to the production trailer to plot out the day. First of all, I think everyone's been adapting really well to the fact that we've increased the schedule. I mean, yesterday was very ambitious. We had Dr. Pat's accident, which we managed to somehow not only have a spontaneous moment, then make it work for our story by the end of the day. We are shifting the stories as we go. I think that there's been some good decisions made because we want to keep it in the realm of reality. Okay, everybody all clear? Crystal. Yeah. Excellent. You guys, Great job. so good. Keep it real. Love it. Morning. Hey, what's up, Molly? What? I'm giving you a pound right oh. there. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, when we got to lunch, I was saying, like, I think it's ridiculous to show such a lack of respect for Dr. Pat. I know you dogged Dr. Pat last night. That's right. Why? Yeah, what did you call about that? Of that? It's so mean. Hutch is open for business today, ladies. Oh I just gosh. want you to know I'm back and I'm opening <laughs> shop. <laughs> You're such an asshole, dude. No, dude. I'm not gonna alienate him, he's who he is. You gotta accept it. Ashley kind of called me out and I said, hold on, let's back that up a little bit. Uh, he knows I think he's disgusting. Don't try to act like I'm trying to hide something from him. I think what you did to- Hold on, no, hold terrible. the phone. Are you trying to act like I'm trying to put up a smoke screen? You know I think you're disgusting. And I think that what you said about Dr. Pat after whatever happened with you okay. is ridiculous. Okay. So don't come at me okay. like that. Okay. I just want to make sure that everyone knows yeah. that we know, we, that you know, that you're no. a jerk. Hey, you know what? DP had to go, as far as I'm concerned. No, she chose to go. No, well, I voted her too, FYI. You, whatever you did with her, and then you vote her off. What kind of jerk does that? Hey, that Hutch jerk. don't like baggage. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't we're need not to be carrying a, a fleet of Samsonite around with me. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God. I'm not afraid to tell Hutch that I thought he was rude, but I didn't appreciate, you know, Ashley and Kip implying that once Hutch got around me, that I was afraid to voice my opinion because that's ridiculous. Don't you? Just, you don't feel at all bad that you might hurt her feelings or something like that, dude. Let me just I mean, say this. I'm just saying at all. Okay. Multiple orgasms. I, ain't, I, I didn't make her feel bad at all, trust me. I tell you what though, I would not have taken that 25, geez. Oh, I was gone. I would have been gone. For $25,000. Gone. You know, what you do in these 10 days isn't always, you know, who you are. That does not define you. It's like buying a BMW and driving down the road and getting a scratch on the paint. Mm -hmm. Does that scratch mean you told your car? Mm -mm. No, no, it's just a scratch. And you can buff it out most of the time. And if you can't, 
<laughs> it's just a scratch, and you still have a BMW. And it adds character. And it's a good car. Yep. Those Dude, drive really fast. You gotta talk to my ex-girlfriend. She, I used to tell her, she was the worst person with analogies ever. And you're very good at them. Mm -hmm. Analogy man. Yeah. He's just not good at thinking There's nothing of. more like of a turn off when someone tries to do an analogy and it's like, <laughs> that analogy. has nothing. So monkeys with hair picking their boss has what to do with me? Right. Pancho, Pancho, Pancho. Right, right, right. All right, I'm going to get some drink. I'm with you. Kip displayed his amazing talent for analogies, and I complimented him on that. Fucking Kip, man. You're funny. He gets it. I just... Good afternoon, gang. Hey! Good morning. Good morning. How How's lunch? It was good. Mm -hmm. okay, so uh, I just want to check on you guys, make sure everything was good. How are you? Okay. Can I see you just for a second outside? Yeah. What's that about? It's none of my business. Well, I'm going to tell you it's my business. She is totally flirting with him, and she knows that I have a crush on him. Does she know this for sure? You talked about this? To the ends of the earth. Well, maybe he's telling her, like, if you think I'm flirting with you, I'm not or something. Right, right. Maybe he's telling her that he's not. Uh, You're let's, probably right. Let's keep it professional. Something like that. She's not his type. No. No, 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 no. If it's one thing I know, it's men. <laughs> For your own benefit, Ashley, I think that you need to try to eliminate your crush. Get rid of it as fast as possible. Don't you think that he and I would make a good couple? No. What? I don't. Why? Because, I, I mean, I just don't see the chemistry there. I just don't see it. Well, you're fabulous, and you're going to have anyone you want. And if, and if you can't see what's fabulous in you than That's he deserves. That's what I wanted to say. He deserves You are right. what you are. You, and you can, there's plenty of shit. Why, I mean, you can't help a crush, but I'm saying, why torment yourself? Shh, 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 shh. Not about guys like that. Oh, that was really a good lunch, you know? Sometimes, sometimes I like it when um, the fish is more cooked. You guys, Ralph is so sweet. He was like, oh my God. All concerned about, you know, because I had my, freaking out attack yesterday. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like, are you okay? <laughs> I mean, it's not his, you know, really his position to- It's really not, is Care it? about that, and he does, it's sweet. I think you're onto something, though. I think it is not his position as the host of a game with, mo you know, money involved. Well, no, but it shows that he's a caring person. But if he hooked up with you, it's okay? Well, I wouldn't do that during a show, ever. But you flirt with him and stuff. I... You guys should hash this shit out because it's starting to get on my nerves. I'm not doing anything. I know you're not doing anything. You guys need to work something out because it's getting real tiresome. Like, fucking who cares? Who cares? Let it go. She's not fucking flirting with him. Is that true? That's what I believe. That's what I believe. And if you're going to continue to fucking pussyfoot around her, then that's your problem. And if you're going to continue, if you think she's flirting, then fucking say something to her. And quit saying shit to me, please, and putting us in the middle of it, because I don't like it. I feel awkward because I like both of you, and I don't want it to be in the middle of it. And I'm not trying to be a dickhead, but I don't want to be in the middle of a fight over fucking Ralph. I don't. So just talk about it. Who cares? Matt just felt extremely trapped in the situation, and he's starting to get more and more uncomfortable around Ashley. If everything is truly on the up and up, I walk away. Can you just tell her right now, everything is on the up and up, so everything could be better? I have a boyfriend, you know that. I do know that. You know that. I Six do. Years. I do. You're right. Women. Good, 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 good. Next up on The Joe Schmo Show, bondage. Cash and no, honey. No, 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 no. After lunch, we went to the backyard for money, 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 honey. I learned that Molly was going to be my partner. I was very excited about that. You look great in yellow, dude. Ralph, 
Ralph, we need a little more energy. Could you smile for us? <laughs> you smile more, Danny. It was kind of great to have the director in your head when I wanted to show myself being a real Hollywood asshole. You're not dressed like you're working at a fucking kid's birthday party. When Ralph first came out in that B costume, it was a little bit hard to keep it together. Uh, he was obviously disgusted. <laughs> I will talk to the producers, and I will thank them. Because now I don't have to wonder what the, the low rung of my career is going to be anymore. Unless I get into gay porn, this is it. You know, I know he was mad about it, but I told him, you know, it's not the B costume that will define your career, it's how you wear the B costume that will define your career. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Quit right, laughing. Man. Dude, could you buzz on over here? <laughs> no, that's not nice. <laughs> what would the lap of luxury be without rolling around in a big wad of cash? Each of you, as you can see, is handcuffed to another housemate. As a team, the two of you will be covered in honey and given two minutes to roll around in our money pit. When you think you've collected as much cash as you can, buzz on over to your honey jar and make a deposit. As long as we don't have to wear that suit, dude, I'm cool. <laughs> what if somebody is... Sorry. The lap of luxury twist. You can only use your hands to peel bills off of your partner's body. <laughs> <laughs> I am fucking sorry. Stop. I'm sorry. Stop it. It looked funny with the cover and the antennas. I was trying not to laugh, but it was really, really hard. You can never touch yourself. No. Matt, you think you can handle that? <laughs> I think I not can. Not touching yourself for five minutes? <laughs> I think I can. Great. When time is up, I'll count the cash you've collected, and the team that collects the most money wins a luxurious trip to Tahiti, where you'll spend six days on the island of Morea mythical island of love in your own overwater bungalow at the romantic Sheridan Morea Lagoon Resort and Spa. To get you there, you'll fly on the international airline of Tahiti, Air Tahiti Nui. Yeah. Kip and Ashley, are you our first contestants? Ready, set, go! Oh, that's it. One minute. Four, three, two, one, stay. Good job. Woo! All right, let's get you guys cleaned up and we'll count your money. Matt and Molly, you're up Come next. On, let's do this. Get in the honey pot. Sorry to Molly's parents. Maybe you don't know, but she is built Ready. amazingly. Set. I mean, Go. that's what God gave her. I turned her around, you know, and I said, well, make sure I get your front and, you know, did it up top here, but, you know, nothing over the line. It just was all in good fun. I just loved Molly, so I loved being around her and I loved rubbing honey on her. <laughs> There's here. someone's butt crack here, Molly. Five, four, three, two, one. That's time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brian Hutch, you're up. Let's yeah, go. Let's go, fellas. Brian and Hutch is a disgusting pair to watch them rub honey on each other. <laughs> One of the best parts about the game was Ralph 
in his bee costume. He wasn't too happy about it. You know how long it'll take for them to count up all the money? I think they're, uh, they're almost finished now, as soon as they're done showering. Trust me, nobody wants this to go faster than I do. Yeah. Nobody warned me about this. Really? It's cute. I feel like a fucking clown. I see your point about I'm just, it. This is my first yeah, I see your big point. exposure I definitely television see your game. Point about it. And I don't think it'll have detrimental effects upon your career, really. Uh -oh. But then, uh, I'm from Pittsburgh. <laughs> we have counted all the money that has come off your sticky bodies, and we have our final results. I'm going to start with team number three, Brian and Hutch collected $13,460. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh, Matt and Molly, you collected a grand total of $11,170. Yeah. <laughs> and Matt was just like, what? You know, and I, I had to like throw these little hints at Matt, like, oh, you only got 20s on your back, just so he'd have in his mind, like, if it, just in case he lost, that, you know, it was because he didn't pick up the hundreds. Yeah. And team number one, Kip and Ashley, a grand total of $15,890. A lot of hundreds and fifties came off of these two. You guys are going to the island of Tahiti. Yeah. As Matt and Molly, they only collected $11,170. That means you two will remain handcuffed for the remainder of the day. So enjoy the closeness that that will provide you two. Which he was like, great. You know, he's like, I'm handcuffed to this hot, you know, Christian virgin blonde from Texas. I don't, I don't mind that at all. I'll see y'all dinner, okay? Yes. Thank you guys. Be good. Coming up next, Matt gets caught in an unexpected love triangle. If you get in here, maybe the hot water will burn off all the germs of your body. Huh? Oh my god, look, there's a film of grease on here now. You get it in here. Hey. I will, dude. Hey. Dude, I swear, I will throw you in the deep end. You can't. If you say one more word. Don't say that. Well, shut the fuck up. Don't say that, Hosh. I will. I as the camera's is the camera on, I will throw this man in the deep end. Go ahead. I will. Go ahead, Big Pen. You're going in the deep end, dude. Come on, Big Pen. I swear, as God is my witness, this man is going in the deep end. I'm throwing him in. I, I, I have been threatening Kip about his swimming, that I would throw him in the pool, he better watch his back, a bunch of times in front of Matt, and we made sure Matt saw that. Uh, little did Matt know that that would end up throwing a wrench into the game and turning it upside down. Go ahead, Big Pen. You're going in the deep end, dude. Come on, Big Pen. I'm not joking. I don't, well, fine, whatever. Whatever. I don't care. How's that water feel? Oh, Great. Good. Yeah? Really good. You know what I was thinking? We need some entertainment for you guys. So I've got a special musical guest that uh, the producers asked me to bring in. And for one of you, it's going to be very special. William, Molly's boyfriend from Wisconsin, from church camp, comes to sing her a song and say hello to her. William, come on out. Where do the butterflies go in the winter? <laughs> Maybe their love will keep them warm. Hey, Molly, this song's for you. Let me say that she could be an inspiration for many songs for me. To gaze upon your golden hair, your lovely hazel eyes. We'll make good choices together if we laugh or if we cry. You're a vision of God's grand design, a dove that's pure and free. Molly, cupcake, you're the girl for me. Molly, cupcake. <laughs> Whoa! It is so good to see you. Not only did he see his girlfriend for the first time in a bikini, but she's handcuffed to a guy, and not just any guy. <laughs> She's handcuffed to me. Um, hey. Yeah. What's okay. up, William? Hey. Wow, you are, you are, is this yours? Uh, That's mine, actually. Honey? Um, hey, why are you, uh, are you all? Oh, we lost hey. the game. Hey, that was we a great song. Thank you. Awesome. That was really great. Um, 
so nice to meet you. We heard so much about you. Yes, I this is I, out. I, I, I wanted to be here if you won or lost. And what's with the <laughs> what's with the handcuffs? We lost. We just lost a game. Okay. We were a team, and the winner loses. I mean, the the loser. Has hey, that's cool. That's cool. I'm um. Are you where? Okay, I'm just gonna uh, cover yourself up. You know, I'm just gonna go. No, come here. No, this is. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Can we stop, please, for a second? I'm sorry. I'm just. What do you? Can you take those off? I can't. Dude, we can't. I can't. We can't do it. Sorry, they. Uh, hi, it's it's really good to see you. But what what are you doing? They, you said, I thought this would be like, like a tea party thing. You said like lap luxury, like fancy it stuff. It is, it is. We've been having great dinner. You're wearing a bikini and a hot tub when you're chained to a guy. I'm not, no offense. I'm, thank you. I appreciate that. Matt just turned his back out of respect for, you know, this relationship. He turned his back so we could talk to each other. I'm not doing anything wrong. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, it, it well, it doesn't look like that. Anyway, I'm just saying. Oh God. I'm saying that it looks like you're making. It, it, no. You want your parents to see this? Uh, this is part of the game. This, well, it sounds like it sounds like you're in this, a. This, no. This is what else have you been doing? We've been. Do, we had to go get dollar bills. Things mean more to you than, than money and 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 and, and people. People. I don't. What I'm trying to say is, strippers take off their clothes for money. All what? right. That's what it looks like right now. I am wearing a bikini. Well, but it, you're, you're, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just gonna go. Here. And I can sing you a song. It, it, a, it, it's a bathing suit, William. It looks slutty, all right. Oh. And I'm gonna go, and and we'll just talk when you get home, because I or, or afterwards, because I'll I'll be around. But I I don't want to. I don't want. If this is the choice you're making, then that's. The it's choice not you're my making. choice. No, William, it looks William, like it's that choice. Don't leave like this, it's dude. What? Well, it was. You wanted to talk to me. Then, no, apparently it is. How do you? Don't leave like this, dude. What? I'm sorry, man. I don't know. I know. I don't know. Just don't leave I her like right? this. Just it, talk to her. Please cover yourself up. And if you could stop taping this for a second, that would be cool. I'm sorry. I, like, oh, no. Yeah, okay? We can no. come out here and if you, you want to. Can't go out of the house. I keep her from leaving because I don't want her to get thrown out of the game. More importantly, I don't want her to get back with William. And this is my opportunity because I'm trying to nail his girlfriend, basically. I'll talk to you afterwards. Just do yeah, your thing. Yeah. Do your thing. You Just do your thing. thing. You, no one can leave the you house. You can't leave out that front door. You'll be eliminated from Wait, the con... I mean, Molly, you can go out that front yeah, door. Yeah, you can. Right. Ralph, can I... You, you can't. Can go she out. can't go out. She can she go can. out she and disqualify yes, herself. Yes, she can. Well, yes. She very, so just, but she has to know that right. she'll be disqualified if she leaves the mansion. Molly, you make that choice right now. Yeah, you might need Probably to leave. Probably a slut. Yeah. You well, might then need let's to go leave. back in the hot tub then. Uh, you, is, out the door? He called me a stripper and he called me a slut. I'm wearing a bikini. I mean, There's nothing wrong with look, wearing a bikini, the, look, I know then, now. And that's, listen. Are you okay, Molly? He has never spoken to me like that before. I didn't even know that he knew those words. Those yeah. words are not in his vocabulary. He said that I looked like... He he's came just from I'm making Wisconsin. an executive decision. He came I'm gonna... from Wisconsin. There's a guy in a Can I go out there. there now? No. But I think you guys, have, this is enough. He came from Wisconsin. Look, Molly. Oh, sweetie, it's all right. It's all right. Look, I just want to leave the... It's all right. We just, can you just give her a minute to go in? Okay. Can you put her in the bedroom? See, you think I'm crazy. I don't think you're... I, no, you do. You do. You didn't think I was right about Jeannie. He just kissed her. She just kissed him on the cheek, and they just walked in there. And you don't think that's weird? You think about it. I don't think it looks good for William and Molly. No. I think Molly's got a new man in her life. Yeah, he gets a B plus. B plus. Oh. This place is fucking starting to drive me crazy. I'm dying to get out of this costume. Dude, first of all, my man's a little bit of a square. Coming up, an immunity showdown. Chocolate, models, and lots of licking. But you guys are let me tell you something about Molly. She is innocent, yes, but she is also opening her mind to a lot of things. I'm glad. And she has been asking I know, me I think about it's good. physical things, 
wanting to know stuff. She's an adult. She should be. She's and I been... tell her, of course, because I'm like, hello. Wait till dude sees that game when I, I, think I might turn know. her around. Like, make sure I get your right. front. Yeah. <laughs> Did you feel any dude? No, I was just doing it. Just dude, that's messing the, uh -huh. around. What's opportunity oh because gosh. it's just part of the game that time. He's I can't sue respectful you. Respectful of women yeah. and their bodies. Me too. Right. We know Dr. Yeah. Pat. I respected all over Dr. Pat's back. <laughs> <laughs> You're clearing the room, man. Cheers to the final six, huh? Right here. Hey, six. We Cheers. Made it. Congratulations, guys. I'm not going anywhere. Congratulations. What's everyone's favorite moment so far? I bet I know Molly's. I have three great moments. Dr. Pat's first orgasm, Dr. Pat's second orgasm, and Dr. Pat's third orgasm. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hi. Wow. Some of you guys are probably wondering where dessert is. Dude, dude please. Dude, not at the table. I can't tell it's so gross. gross. What the hell are you doing? I'm just kidding. Look at that. See, my dinner, I can't even dude. eat because That's you're grossing sick. me out so much. And that shit is going to stop when you're around me. I don't, whatever they do, I don't fucking do don't do it. Feet make me sick. I'll just ask as a friend. Please, just at the table. If we're outside, whatever. But just here, no. And I, I would appreciate it. But no if problem. you can't control it, then we'll work on that later. Aye. Right. Well, Ashley, you didn't eat your dinner, which means you have a lot of room tonight for dessert. And we have a very special lap of luxury dessert planned for you guys tonight. I'm going to need you to follow me outside so we can serve it up, OK? Right, right now? now? Right now. All right. OK. You didn't even eat. All right, you guys ready for some dessert? Okay, okay, that's, excuse me, Anthony, Anthony, I, I need, can I talk to a producer, please? Please, right now, right now, I need to talk to a producer. Right now. That's it, that's oh, it, yeah. that's that it. it. You're right. That is it. Yeah, you're right. I need to talk so, to a producer right now before we start, I'm sorry. I told you guys this morning, okay, I said, this is the second time he's done this. Now, he just did it again. He just threatened me. This is the third time, and I'm not gonna take it anymore. Touch threatened him once again. Um, from what Kip said, he whispered in his ear, um, I'm gonna throw you in the pool tomorrow. This is the third time, Hush. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go inside. You're, you're overreacting. He's the one egging me on, dude. Okay, but I'm telling you, this, he did it, he, I, he whispered in my ear. The same thing. Yeah, it was just real unfortunate. So I was sitting next to Brian and then we had to switch, switch places. And, um, you know, Hutch, I guess he just is competitive, you know, and thought, try to get in Kip's head a little bit. And uh, Kip didn't stand for it, you know? Okay, well, normal people enjoy simple pleasures, like chocolate-covered nuts or chocolate-covered strawberries. But for tonight's Lord of the Manor Immunity Showdown, we have a more expensive delicacy. Chocolate-covered models. Woo! Yes! How are you? Yeah. Good to meet you. Here to help us, is the lovely Jamie. Oh, yes. There she is. Come here, sweetie. Stand right here. Who doesn't like chocolate? Well, Matt. Chocolate makes me sick to my stomach. I hate the taste of it. Hidden under these layers of fine Belgian chocolate are random letters. Your job, use only your tongue to lick the chocolate off and reveal those letters. When unscrambled, these letters form a word. The house guest to correctly identify their word the quickest wins immunity for tonight's riches to rags eviction ceremony. Is everybody ready for some oral action? Hutch and Brian, ready? See if we can work it out. Set, lick. Come on, Brian. It was cold out that night, and the chocolate had gotten thick and hard, and no one could lick it off. The chocolate was like lava. It was it was like formed on these these stripper skin. Well, that chocolate's hard to get up. You're gonna have to lick harder than that. Hutch has found a letter. He's found an L. Letter. He's found an E. He's found an S. Up top, man. Up and down. <laughs> we're like scraping flesh and, and DNA and everything. I mean, we're, we're literally, it's, it's, it's like we've gone from lap of luxury to the movie Alive. Yeah, we're acting right. outside, right? Pete! Pete! Yes, pearls. Pearls is correct. You got oh, it. Oh, good job. Oh man. my that God. That was awesome. That was awesome. 
Pearls is correct. The man who pros supposedly loves women and food. You didn't really handle either very well. Sit down. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing. Next up, ready, set, lick. Matt confronts his chocolate phobia one lick at a time. I, I can't, I can't, I want to, and I can't. <laughs> and later, it has become evident that one of you has violated a rule that you all agreed to upon entering into the mansion. Hutch's time was six minutes and one second. That is the time to beat. If any of you go over six minutes and one second, we're gonna stop you because you have to beat that time, okay? Keep that in mind. While you're licking, just say the word. Don't worry about spelling. Let's bring out our next dessert, Kristen. Oh, Kristen. We can put you right here in the center. Let's bring out Kip and Matt. Oh my God. Ready, set, lick. I'm going to do this scientifically. I'm I went right in for the breast. Uh, I thought to myself, if I were hiding letters, you know, where would I hide them? If this is too strange for me, I can't Kip, do get this. that immunity, come on. Come on, Kip, Can work it. Lick her arm. Kip, I'm looking for immunity. something. You have to. Okay. You can't see it, bro, you gotta start licking. I tried my best to, to lick, but my gag problem showed itself again. So he's literally gagging on the floor, gagging out chocolate. Put some, some effort into it. <laughs> I can't, I'm so sorry. It's so nasty. No, you you are great. <laughs> but the chocolate. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> like, I can't do this. That's the only thing that grosses me out is people making that gag noise. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Oh god. I can't, I can't, I want to, and I can't. <laughs> like, I am so happy Matt, to be here, and Matt, I can't Matt, do it. Matt, Matt. Mm. <laughs> Matt, 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 Matt. So finally, he's just like, screw it, and he starts rubbing his face, you know, on this girl's butt and on her boob. <laughs> Is time. Oh. Sorry, guys, the word is Merlot. Kristen, thank you so much. We're going to bring out Ashley. We're going to bring out Molly. Put them on either sides of you. And ladies, you can start licking when I give you the mark, okay? Molly mentioned to me, do I need immunity? She said, do I need to do this, do you think? And I said, it's not as far as I'm concerned. Ready, set, lick. Come on, let's go. Slow down, guys. This. Come on, girls. I Woo! can't do this. What? I can't do this, I'm sorry. It's for immunity. No. I was pissed. You don't know where those girls have been and if they've showered and if they have psoriasis or eczema or booty cooties. No? Uh-uh. Okay, just have a seat. Okay. I don't want to do the game either, really. I mean, I'm just thinking this is this is really gross. Come on, Ashley, you can Keep do going. it. Can Come I have on, seconds on the other side? Yeah. No. You didn't eat all you had the first time. Come on. Sorry, Looking that's forward that's to that robe, girl. Come on, Ashley, you can do it. Ashley has three votes against her the night before. If she does not win or try to win this immunity challenge, it's fishy. It's really fishy. Come on, Ashley. A. E. R. Oh my gosh, I know the word. I know the word. Panther! Panther is right. With yes. five minutes and 15 seconds, the winner of immunity this evening is Ashley. There you go, Ashley. That will keep you warm. It will also keep you safe tonight at the Riches to Rags eviction ceremony. You cannot be voted off this evening. Congratulations, you did a great job. Everyone, you're free to go back inside now.
Ordinarily, it's at this point in the evening that we would hold our riches to rags eviction ceremony. However, certain circumstances have arisen and that has resulted in a change of plans. The producers of Lap of Luxury have asked me to convey the following information to you. It has become evident to them that one of you has violated a rule that you all agreed to upon entering into the mansion. Coming up next, someone is going home, but not as they expected. It has become evident that one of you has violated a rule that you all agreed to upon entering into the mansion. One of the rules that you agreed to states that at no time may any housemate make threats of bodily harm against another housemate. Hutch, after repeated warnings not to do so, you have continued to make such threats against Kip. I'm going to throw you in the freaking pool. OK, OK, that's our lady. Excuse me, I'm going I'm going to break you. I will throw you in the deep end you can't if you say one more word. Therefore, it is the decisions of the producers of lap of luxury that you be ejected from the mansion this evening. Oh, no. Mm -mm. No, dude, I'm not leaving. Your flagrant violation of the rules has resulted in us asking you to collect your things and leave this evening. What about his threats? Did you ever consider, I'll, I'll, can I talk to the producer, please? That's bullshit, no. The decision has been made, Hutch. No, dude. As for the rest of you, Due to the fact that this satisfies our need to have one of the housemates leave the mansion this evening, the rest of you are safe and will move on in the competition. Okay. There is no need for a vote this evening because Hutch will be leaving tonight. No, I, Hutch will not be leaving tonight, bro. Hutch, please collect your things and leave. He fucking threatened me too, I, dude. Right, right. This point please, is not open proof. for debate. Show me the proof. This decision has been made and will be carried out this evening. I need you to collect your things and please leave. That's fine. Don't I get to make a speech or some bullshit? This isn't an ordinary Richard to Rags eviction ceremony. I'm making a speech then. This is not a point where you make a speech. Fuck this cocksucking show. Goodbye. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. I know what to say other than... Um, I just, I want everyone to know, this, I did not ask for this. No, I this did not was, ask this, for him to This get was off. a decision made fault. by the yeah, producers... Don't worry about it. ...that they believed was the best, not only... Fuck you! ...not only for the rest of the housemates, but also for the good of the show. This was not Kip's doing, this is a decision they made upon... Oh, no, we, we know yeah. 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 No, we day know it wasn't yeah. your doing. Don't even sweat it, Okay. Right? However, what you need to know is... In essence, it, it results in the same thing that an ordinary eviction ceremony would for the five of you. That's fine. There are five left. You're all one step closer to $100,000. I know we've had two sort of... Okay. Congratulations, yeah. you guys. I, got one. I know we've had two sort of unusual riches to rags eviction ceremonies back to back. Hopefully, tomorrow night, things will be back to normal. But uh, as for this particular evening, that's it for us tonight, okay? Okay. So, sorry all this had to kind of go down, but I just want you all to try to relax, enjoy the rest of your evening, and as always, I'll see you all tomorrow, okay? See you, right. Ralph. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yep. Don't even sweat it, man. I'm, I'm not. He's, you know what? The bottom line is he would have been voted off anyway. He had it coming. No. There's, yeah. There was, he had literally That's no amazing. chance of winning anyways. I can't believe that they said that, that they were like... He, he threatened him upstairs in the jacuzzi. Did when? He's threatening you. I've seen him do it twice. And, and you know, so yeah, today, I mean, yeah. and I told the producer, I said, I said, he threatened me. And he said, okay, we'll tell him this off. Then he did it again out there.
and we were. He whispered in my ear, he says, I promise you, I will throw you in a Pokemon. He said, I promise. He whispered in my So I told him, and then, shh, that's all. You know, I don't know anything. You were scared. You were scared. I just don't want, I don't want to be threatened. It's three times. Yeah, we listen, came in the show to play. Listen, yeah, listen. Okay. We have let him dominate, pre dominate, so much of our time. Yeah, totally. You know, like, he's done things. Let's, let's make a pact to not bring him up unless. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Good yes. It's yes. over. Here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. No more hut. The true test of this game is not how you play it, but when you're forced to leave, how you act when you're forced to leave. That's not the true test of this game, but the true test of your character. This. All right. Let's cool. Let's just stop. Woo! Drink it. It's time to party. Everybody put pajamas on. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You don't have to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Molly, are you sure? <laughs> Where are we meeting with pajamas? Um, I room the mat. Let's go to your room and make a stroke. We could watch a movie. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my god. Kevin, seriously? Bro, group hug. I'm yeah. happy for you I'm because. I'm happy for you too. But you know if he would ever touch you. No, I told I him that earlier tonight. Myself and whoop his ass, I right? told him that earlier tonight. Did I not, tell you that? I'm not afraid of that. No, no. come on, man. It, it wouldn't come to That's that, right. but I know. She looks super hot, like a tight little t-shirt and like matching shorts. Come on. This feels so nice, doesn't it? Everyone is just happy now. I'm so happy. Please don't think that every time I'm around her, I'm like, oh, you know, because I'm not. No. Good riddance. No. Ah! Uh -oh. What would living in the lap of luxury be without a good pillow fight? I know I can hurt you. <laughs> I hope I don't get kicked out for this. <laughs> Next time on The Joe Schmo Show, Matt comes face to face with his worst nightmare. Man. <laughs> then goes one-on-one -on -one with a fake network executive. If you want to hold me in violation of my contract, please feel free to do so. Matt has a proposition for Ashley and Molly. Trust me, this goes so much farther beyond us than we even realize, OK? Everyone gets a little wet for the immunity robe. Go, Molly, come on, keep going. And Ralph delivers some shocking news. For two of you, the vacation's over. That's right, it's double trouble. It's all next time on The Joe Schmo Show.